Hey. That was great. That, that was, was so beautiful. Spaceman's Blues by mm -hmm. Matthew Ship, performed by Matthew Ship himself. And Matthew's going to come out in just a um, couple of seconds as soon as he can mop his brow um, and uh, get back on the device. Uh, he will join us. That was the ninth premiere. Oh my God. Premieres today. Wow. Isn't that so great? And uh, thanks, Jack and Emily, for uh, sponsoring that commission. And um, that's River. Um, uh, Your dog. You as well. Um, he he has a premiere River. coming. His debut is coming up in the future. Yeah. Um, and uh, thanks to everyone who's supporting the show and uh, uh, has bought a ticket. And uh, please, if you uh, if you can, um, oh here we go. Hey, here Matthew. we go, Matthew. Matthew, Matthew welcome. Thomas. What an amazing, beautiful piece, amazing performance. Thank you so much. That was fantastic. I hope we can hear you. I think we can. Let's see if we, let's see if we make sure we can hear you. Have me. <laughs> oh, it's a little quiet. Hello. Yes, we've got you. Okay. You may have to put it a little closer. You just need a little tiny bit closer. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah, that's okay, great. Okay, now we have you. Okay. okay. Who's the spaceman? <laughs> <laughs> and why is he blue? Why is the spaceman blue? Yeah. <laughs> oh, because it's the blues. <laughs> <laughs> um, Matthew, you know, tell us about writing this, uh, creating this piece. Um, is there some anything about the time period we're in now, uh, or your own personal experience that you know brings this music into into the world? Um, well, I, I would like to go to outer space and get off planet Earth for a while, but you know, <laughs> that, that that's the major thing for me. No, I mean, I'm I've I've actually been listening to a lot of Sun Ra in this period just because um, I need somebody who uh, is, thinks extraterrestrially. <laughs> And th that was just the um, inspiration for it. Oh, fantastic. It was really great. I see Sun Ra at the Squat Theater many years ago, uh, multiple occasions. I don't know if you ever made it down there to. No, not, not there. No. I no. used to see him in Philadelphia a lot yeah. when I was a kid. Where are you playing from? Where, where's your. Uh... Oh, I'm in New York. You're in New York. I'm, I'm at Michiko Studios in New York, which is beautiful rehearsal studio where I practice a lot and um, I like it up here. I'm really good friends with Roberto, the owner, so. Oh, fantastic. So you can get enter into that space. Where is it up, up in Manhattan? In, in Midtown, yes. In Midtown. Right. So yeah. someone actually is in a building in Midtown. <laughs> yes, yes. It seems so empty everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. So how's, it going, how's it going today with all the other performances? It's been really fun. Right. Yeah, really nice. Just a credible geographic spread. Um, so that's been really fun. And um, right. yeah, just, uh, you know, oh, it's people are not in New York. A lot are not. He started uh, with a composer in Uzbekistan. Oh, OK. And, uh, I, get I yeah. get it. I get it. <laughs> yeah. So we've been all over the globe and um, yeah, still traveling around. Right. Right. Well, that, that's great new. because, you know, we you, you can't really travel now. So this is a great way to, you know, have world music per se. Yeah. Exactly. That's the best sense of the word. Um, and and what's this time period been like for you? Are you, um, I know you're not traveling, I imagine you're not traveling as most people aren't. Um, right. Are you taking the time to, to uh, just I mean, be involved in music in other ways? Or... Yeah, I'm composing a lot, um, practicing and um, and contemplating life after, after this. <laughs> planning and contemplating of you know, existence after after this so that's well, it's nice to think after i think yeah many of us it's the first time uh after you know it's, <laughs> instead of just being in you know inside it it's right right a little so bit of i i have to ask you a question though i just want to ask about what we just heard because you know it's like i remember um i told you you know like a while ago that um the piano equation was like the soundtrack to the early part of the pandemic for me Right. because um you know it just you released it it was so beautiful i listened to it all the time and then um i i um, was able to engage you to play at someplace else 
Right. And, and you told me it was going to be completely different, you know, right. or mostly different when I, when I booked it. And so I just wonder, um, you know, because things are so um, fluid, the way you make them and the way you play them, the next time you play this piece, what will be different? Basically, what, what I'm trying to do is keep a blues underlying figure. I have a few motifs that I, I use, and I have a bunch of clusters or polychords that were, so I, I'm, I'm basically thinking like in some ways Ellington meets Ives. And so what'll, what'll be different okay. will be the way the elements will move because I have the elements um, mapped out, but the way they move can switch anyway. Fantastic. Okay, Ellington meets Ives is like- Yeah, that's really, I can, I can, I can really hear it there, so. Yeah. But so um, yeah, the way the way it'll move is those those basic elements will will whatever on the whim of the moment, or um, they'll they'll move in different ways, completely different ways. Well, the way it adds up, at least for me as a listener, is it feels like I know exactly um, where I am, but I don't really know how I got there. Right. And That's the way I feel. <laughs> <laughs> so I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know you've been on live marathons. You know, right, right. we've had you as part of the Bang of Can experience earlier on, and so appreciative that you're yeah. willing to yeah. jump yeah. and be virtual with us. Um, it's really great. Right, well, I Bang of the Can is one of the one of the real mainstays of of you know New York, and you know I I, I just you've always been around and you've always done these marathons and and, and commissioned people to do stuff for the you know the ensemble so it's been a big part of my new york music life and just knowing you're around so thank you